Hello internet. So I wanted to make a quick video today showing how I made this monstrous cabinet behind me. So next to me we've got the Frozen Mighty 8K and I've been using to the right of me this Frozen Mini 8K for the last six months. Now this print has just arrived but I was getting a bit fed up with the amount of fumes that were in this sort of games room where I keep my printer. So the Mighty 8K has just arrived. Um, I'm one of the first people to actually get this. I ordered it directly from Frozen. So I might do another review of the actual unit itself. It's basically just a big version of the Mini 8K. But again, I might cover that in a separate video anyway. So I just got these pieces from b and It was about £60 for the wood. So if you go in there with the dimensions, they'll cut a sheet to those dimensions. So I've just been screwing and gluing today. So I'm going to finish this off. Got some more bits of the wood there. That's going to be the door and the top. Oh, let me show you this. So I haven't, it hasn't arrived yet, but my IPA has just been sat in these bottles, you know, and if something happened and there was a fire, these things would just get nuked and obviously the whole room would just instantly get obliterated. And so I don't really like just the way I'm leaving these on the floor. So I've bought a cabinet, a fire resistant cabinet, which is on its way. Um, it did cost £175, which is annoying, um, but it's something safe to store these in. And if there was a fire, then these will stay safe inside for up to, I think, 30 minutes of, of flame. So I was using one of these. I think it's got a what, HEPA, HEPA filter inside. So I was using this for the fumes. So I'm going to skip over most of this stage. Thought I'd show you it primed and painted. But if you want to watch a video on how to build a cabinet, it's probably about a million other videos on YouTube. I have just primed it and painted it with some leftover paint. So I'm going to go ahead, finish the base, finish the doors, and then I'll come back once I've actually got the unit built and we'll go over what we're going to do inside the cabinet. All right, so I ain't done an update video in a while. I have painted the cabinet um, on the top. I think I showed this in the last bit of the video, but I ran out of paint when I was doing the doors. So that's unfinished. I've got these ugly ass bits here because I've messed up my hinges on the inside. Completely cock this up. Um, as you can see all here, I had to chop all this out. Very dumb, plus my doors damage them. But hey ho, it shuts. I do try, I'm going to try and get a lot of the fumes kept inside the cabinet, 3D printed on my filament printer, some handles, got some lights in there as well. They were only just cheap strip lights, nothing special. We'll look at that in a minute. Down here, I've made a little cable grommet because I don't want the fumes escaping out. So yeah, that was just... 3D printed. Got a camera in here that I might put somewhere, but the problem is this camera is not wide angled enough to be able to see everything in the cabinet, so I might not be able to use that. Oh, let me show you this. So um, I had to hammer this in because it's such a tight fit. I can't straighten this up now. It's completely wedged in there, completely stuck. Doesn't matter. I've got a grill that's going to go over this yet to stop me dropping any pennies down there into my extractor fan. On the outside, just to make it look a little bit neater, um, I 3D printed this thing, which is like a, it had a thread on it, so I could make that look a bit neater, just so you wouldn't have the big ugly hole I've cut in there. Now, here's the magic thing under here. We got the fan. So this is a fan I just bought on Amazon. It's like an extractor fan. Let's have a look in there. Big old fan. So this just plugs into the mains. And then here, it's not arrived yet. We're going to have a big ass carbon filter. So it's designed for like grow tents and things. So I think they last about six months. So that's going to bolt onto here. Then we're going to have some tubing that comes out of here. Up here, I'm going to make some little bracket to like cable tie it to it. Up to here, where I'm going to make. I don't know, some sort of box or connector into this hole for our fume extraction. On the inside here, whoa, on the inside here, there is a bit of a seal between this wood and this wood, so that's good, but I might add some foam strips, sort of rubber seal along this bit here. 
got some magnets to keep the door shut. But yeah, other than that, let me zoom out so you can see the bomb that's gone off in this room. Yeah. So I'm going to call this version one. There's still more to do, but I'm going to end the video here just because it's basically done. You get the idea of uh, what's left to do, but I do need to start printing. So I'm not going to have time to do this. Probably do it next month. I've finished all my covers for the front. It's just a bit boring. It just says 3D printing, keep closed. Got some handles on there. Now I have bought this off Amazon, which is a heavy duty um, exhaust flume thing. Um, so basically that goes through there because the last one I had in the other video was absolutely crap and it broke straight away. It was so flimsy you could just rip a hole in it with by looking at it. Down here we've got some cable tie supports that I've just 3D printed. So I just knocked them up on Fusion. It comes down here into our fan at the bottom, our extractor fan. So our extractor fan and then through our massive carbon filter down here. So this is designed for um, like grow tents or growing drinks or something or whatever you grow inside. It takes the, the smell away. Now inside the cabinet we've got our frozen Mighty 8K ready to go. So that's uh, ready to start printing. We've got space here for another 3D printer. Let's turn our lights on, make it a bit easier to see. So we've got some LED strip lights that just go around the um, outside. And then I've got this horrendously bad um, filter cover thing. So if I turn on my um, fan, it just it gets extracted out of there. It's terrible. It's not even straight. The screws are all bad, but it will do. So let me show you my app. Basically, if I click this button here, we can turn our fan on. Now, I don't know how much it's going to cost to run this fan. What I'll probably do is turn it on for a timer when I turn the printer on. So if it's an eight hour print, I'll turn the extractor fan on so I can feel the airflow there. Now, if I were to do this again, I think I would get a fan that's got a dial on it because I don't think I need to run it at full whack. Now, if I shut the doors, what I'll have to do in an upgrade is have something to block this little tiny gap here. Because obviously, the way I think it's going to work, because I don't have an intake, I don't have an intake for the air, what my plan is to basically work like a computer, you know, when you have the negative airflow. So this will be pulling air through here taking all the fumes out that's inside the cabinet and hopefully it'll pull air in from the room into the cabinet and the idea is the negative air pressure will keep them fumes going out that way and out of my filter hopefully okay so that about wraps it up for this video um like i said there are still some finishing touches i need to do but for the time being it will do it will do its job so, yep, I've already showed you me brackets, I cop them up. Um, got a magnetic thing on here just to shut the door. Um, so, yeah, so far my experience 3D printing is really good. These are 3D printed on just some crappy filament 3D printer that I got in the garage. That's not my resin one. This is my resin one here. So, there's a Master Chief. Now this has come off the Frozen Mini 8K. So if you want to win this, I guess I could give this away. If the video gets to say 5,000 views and let's say, I don't know, 50 likes, just drop a comment in the comments saying, give me the Master Chief, something like that. And then if I get enough views, I'll pick a random person and I'll give this away. So um, yeah, I'll probably end the video here. I'll just quickly show you this thing down here. So we've got our um, flammable cabinet. So um, you open him up. So in there, we've just got our IPA. And again, I've put that in there just in case in an emergency, if the room set fire, this thing is going to burst the whole house into instant flames and should control the fire up to about 30 minutes while the rest of my crap burns. So 
Yeah. And there's the mighty 8K. Ready for printing. If you've if you like the video, you know, hit the thumbs up button or not. And uh, I'll do the update video soon for V2 or the next version.